Welcome to another edition of Skip, Rent, or Buy. I'm gonna look at Hollow Man 2. You've probably already heard it's not as good as the first, which was a reasonable enough take on the subject in spite of its third act. The plot of this one takes the next logical step. Basically, obviously it was you know gonna be used as a weapon you know, the invisibility. So, this one takes that and, surprise, surprise, again, he goes insane. And, th this really, that that's not a spoiler. He's insane when you first see him in the movie. And yes, by when I say see, I am, of course, being facetious. I could make some joke about Christian Slater, this time being invisible, not making him any more see-through and any less convincing, but have any less screen presence. So anyway, the, the thing is reasonably enough produced. I mean, it's not like poorly edited or, you know, shot. It's, it's, it's average uh, in that regard. It's, it's not appallingly poor, but it's not something that's gonna... It's not something that's gonna stand out and really impress you. Part of the problem with it is the characters and the plot is entirely one-dimensional. There's there's just nothing there, really. Um, I mean, for a quick example, one of the main characters is, you know, the determined cop. And that's all, you know, and he's your white knight for the movie. And that's it. There's, there's just, there's nothing else to him. You know, it doesn't really build suspense or tension much at all. And and some of the stuff just doesn't make sense. Even, I mean, even if you don't, like, analyze it, or even if you just look at it at face value, it doesn't completely make sense. Like, characters' actions and stuff like that. On that, some of the invisible, some of the stuff that he does while invisible, it's just plain silly. At one point, to distract someone, he... I'm assuming that he grabs his wrist because you can't see him, and shakes him so that he gets coffee on his face. I didn't make that up. That's, that's literally in the movie. It does maybe have, like, one... sort of decent action scene, but that's really it. Um, it doesn't even move all that fast. I mean, for 90 minutes, it felt like more than 90 fucking minutes. And it's not even all that fun to watch, you know? I mean, you'd imagine this sort of thing, they could have a ton of fun with it. They kind of don't. There is maybe one detail that I sort of liked. But it's sure shit not enough to make me recommend this thing to anyone. The humor is pretty lame. Um, it didn't as much as make me smile at anything, I don't think. Uh, I don't think at any point. And it tries way too hard. Um, make, you, make you laugh. Get you scared. Seriously, the first fucking scare of the... Th of the entire thing is one of the cheapest, most ridiculous jump scares that I've ever seen. And I've seen my share of horror, including shitty horror. It was so just plain stupid. The acting is decent. It's not really, there are no outstanding performances. The special effects aren't too bad. This was a direct-to-DVD release, I believe, so you wouldn't necessarily expect the effects to be anything, and they aren't as bad as you might imagine. There's some gratuitous nudity and sex. I don't personally mind it as such in movies when they just, you know, throw it in there just, you know, without any, without it adding anything. But it's just, in this one, it's so clear that it was there in hopes of getting people to watch it, you know, in the hope that, ah, there's an attractive female, let's hope she 
gets naked in this. And I wouldn't watch it for that, seriously. Um, it ain't that good. The dialogue isn't particularly impressive either. Um, it's not always downright poor, but it's never anything special. You're, you're not going to be, like, quoting this thing, you know. So all in all, I'd say skip, uh, unless you just gotta have some Invisible Man action, in which case you don't exactly have a shitload of options. But if you want an entertaining movie about someone who's invisible, I haven't watched an awful lot of these, but if you haven't watched the first, watch that one instead and just pretend that this one doesn't exist. I mean, at the end of the day, you have to wonder why the fuck they bothered making this shit. There's, there's nothing interesting to it. I mean, if this was all they could come up with, I get that they're making sequels to everything nowadays, but seriously. That's all for this one. I will see you next time.